California when this paraplegic student trained to fly a powered paraglider and ultimately earned his wings. Ken is uh, with the pilot now with his story. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, it's Russell Malitsky and he's standing by with us today. Good morning, Russell. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, morning. Thanks for uh, So me. you're in town for something special. You're from Pasadena. I'm from, right? yeah, down near LA area, Pasadena, yeah. Okay, and so there's a big event that's coming up this weekend and it has to do with you piloting the paraglider. First, tell me how this all even came about? What did they do to, for lack of a better term, I guess, alter or adjust the paraglider to help fit your needs? Yeah, usually um, the powered paragliding quads are controlled with your feet. Okay. And um, so I, had, I got a hold of uh, Mike at Blackhawk Paramotors and said, hey, you know, I know this is how it's usually done, but I want to give it a try and there's got to be a, you know, a good way to do it. And um, so I just give him a call and he, you know, said, yeah, we'll figure something out. And so they had um, adjusted the whole front end. So rather than having to uh, control it with your feet, I actually, it's on casters and it can kind of control just with the flying of the wing. Wow. See, now, this seems super, super scary to me. But if you say it was not scary. It's just no, super exciting. It's super exciting. Exhilarating. Yeah. It, definitely exhilarating, yes. This is your first time ever being able to get up into a paraglider? Um, no, I actually, I've been for what they call free flying, so flying without a motor for a number of years. I used to do a lot of skydiving, so I'm, I'm kind of been used to being in the air quite a bit and whatnot, so I, this was just kind of another step. And are we looking at you? That's yes, you? That's okay, me. so prior to takeoff, I often wonder, what are, what are you thinking about before you actually get that separation from the earth that we love so much? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's the, a bit of the process just before. The actual getting, once you're actually getting up off the ground, it's not that big of a deal. It's for me, I'm still needed a bit more practice getting the wing up and kind of controlling the wing, getting it, you know, just before launch. Yes. So, but so there's a lot going through your mind. You know, you have to control the throttle. You got to control the wing. You got to uh, make sure you're not going to, you know, make sure you got enough room out in front of you. The trees, right. you know, all there's there's a lot going through your mind. And you're only doing that just with your hands. You control just with, everything with your hands. Everything with just your hands. And so you're in town because the events this weekend. Yep. You're going to be with about a hundred other paragliders. Um, yeah, summer? there's a good chunk of people out of the Blackhawk Ranch. Yeah. Outstanding, and uh, hopefully folks can come out and see that, right? Yeah, anyone can come out if they want. Um, even people don't fly, uh, right. don't fly. Spectators can come out. They're more than welcome to come out and watch. Russell, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, no and problem. Congratulations on just pushing through. Like I love the fact nothing can stop you. That's great. Good luck this weekend. We'll have the information at GoodDaySacramento.com under Show Info for today. Thank you, Russell. Thank you. Have fun. M who? All right, Ken. Thanks so much. Time now is seven.